Did you put up big numbers in junior college? Is it starting to feel like that for you out there? Um, not necessarily. You know, uh, of course, I, I put up a few big numbers in junior college. That was because I was being targeted a lot more, you know, and I had more opportunities. But uh, here it, it's just the offense by itself. You know, whenever you have Joe Mixon, Samaj P. Ryan, Baker Mayfield, Mark Andrews, A.D. Miller, you know, I mean, I, I really don't have any choice but to be successful in this offense. It, it almost seems like you are – Everybody has to take advantage of it when you do get targeted because if you screw up, maybe the ball's going somewhere else for a while, you won't get your shots. Is it there, that kind of competitiveness right now amongst you guys? Uh, I mean, it, it's not really. You know, we're, we're all, I mean, we all get our fair chances at it. You know, um, some you get it more than others. You know, we just pretty much see the matchup across the board and try to exploit that matchup. That's all. Did you have to, as an offense, balance what was happening on Saturday? I mean, you guys are obviously scoring at a, moving the ball at a great rate, but then the defense is having struggles. What was that like, just sort of balancing your joy with maybe some of their despair as that game went on? I mean, we kind of knew it was going to happen. You know, uh, just didn't know that it was going to happen the way it did. You know, we're, we're two one of the most what high powered offenses there is so we knew that they were going to score and so we had to score you know it's just one of those things where the offense is just battling it out what do you do you try to say anything to the defensive guys as they're going through what they're going through yeah of course i mean you you try to tell them to keep their heads up you know uh, of course we're going to answer back on offense you just keep doing whatever it is that you're doing on defense and we're going to back you up and that's the whole point of our team you know do you feel any added pressure in a game like that when you know if you don't get it done one drive, the whole game could, could turn? No, not necessarily. You know, uh, of course, our, our defense is as good as ever. You know, and it was just one of those games. You know, you can't you can't be perfect every game, but you can try to play near perfect. And um, for us, it's just making routine plays. You know, and when we leave the huddle, we break it out on nothing less than six points every time we leave the huddle. You know, so it's just one of those things you have to get behind the defense, push them, and just trust that they'll stop them. Why are you so hard to cover? Because I take practice real serious. Um, regardless of who it is in front of me, you know, I look at those one-on-one -on -one matchups as, as individual goals, like for me to defeat you every snap of the ball. And so whenever it's my chance to execute and perfect the play, I try to do just that. Are you getting double, double any out there? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I'm getting double. I could say that the safety shift, shift over at times, but it's kind of hard to do so when you have, of course, Mark Andrews and A.D. Middle on the left side. So. How big has Nick Bassman been? I mean, those third down plays, it's like Baker's number one target. Yeah, he's huge. You know, he's he's automatic, as you guys can see. And uh, I don't mean to jinx him or anything of that nature, but he's he's pretty clutch. Didi, um, I don't know if you've had a chance to watch any Kansas film yet, but they were dropping seven into coverage regularly on Saturday against Oklahoma State. Just the question of not really you getting double teamed yet. Do you expect maybe some of those things to maybe start happening as defenses see more of you guys? Uh, I'm not I'm not really sure. I just know I trust in Coach Ali's game plan, you know, and he's a very, very smart person. And so I know he's going to have some drawing up for wherever it is that they're dropping into. How much does it ease your mind knowing you've got the run game that you do and maybe defenses just can't do? That sort of it, it eased my mind a lot, and that was the one of the reasons you know I chose to come to school at Oklahoma because I knew that they had um, some IJ and Joe Mixon at the back end and Baker Mayfield, so it was going to it was going to be hard to double a receiver up whenever you got those guys in the back end. You posted on Twitter after the game that you love this team. What what makes this group so special? Because um, the fact that we had a rough start at the beginning of the season and how we just fought through all the adversity, you know, and still came out victorious. You know, we're, we're still winning, we're, we're still pushing, and the fact that we have a chance to um, win a Big 12 title is very special. What was the, the locker room like afterward, you know, with, with one unit elated and then the other, you know, they had more one of their worst games in a long time. I mean, uh, it was the same. You know, at the end of the day, we're a team. We won. Like, regardless of how you play, you know, we, we still won. You know, and uh, that's, that's good that we won, and those guys got that out the way so we can come back this week and work, work at it. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's what practice is for.